All right, let's talk about the swing groove. The swing groove in jazz music is really all about the cymbals. The bass drum and snare drum are extra. Where in rock music, the bass drum and snare drum kind of keep the groove together. So in a rock beat, it's all about the bass drum and snare drum. In jazz music, the groove is kept between the cymbal and the hi-hat. So it's a lighter feel, but there's still lots of energy there. So let's talk about the basic swing groove. First thing I'm going to do is work on the symbol, the ride pattern. The ride pattern is quarter note, two eighth notes, quarter note, two eighth notes. But in jazz swing, we're going to think triplets as our subdivision rather than straight eighth notes. So in swing music, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one, two, a, three, four, a, one, two, a, three, four, a, one, two, a, three, four, a, one. Then we'll add the hi-hat on two and four, and that's really the essential groove that you want to start with. So let's try that. We're going to put two and four in the hi-hat. One, two, a, three, four, a, 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 one. That's going to take some time. Be patient. The next thing you're going to add, perhaps, is a really soft bass drum on all four beats. I do that because jazz music, really that pulses those quarter notes. It's dance music, so we really want to emphasize the quarter notes and get students feeling the quarter note pulse. But you're going to be really soft with this bass drum. Your heel needs to be down. On the hi-hat, your heel should be up so you have more power. So on the hi-hat, if my heel's down, as soon as I lift my heel up, there's a lot more power there. Yeah. That in the bass drum. Three, four. One. Next thing you can do with your left hand is you can do a whole bunch of things with your left hand. Let's add a rim knock on beat four. When you do a rim knock, turn your stick around. It's got a better tone quality. This way. Turn your stick around when you're doing a rim knock. Let's add a rim knock on beat four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Next thing you could do is you could add uh, a rim knock on two and four, depending on the musical section you're playing. Check this out. Often actually play that groove, but it's something else you can do. Maybe we could add a four and on our tongue. One, two, three, four. very often, but when the sections get really big, you can move over to the, to the snare drum. So it's a really loud section and you really need to be heard. Put two and four on the, on the snare drum. Maybe hit that on four every once in a while, just to give it some big sound. So check this out. Sometimes drummers need to get quite loud. We really control the dynamics of the band. Um, and so sometimes you really need to start hammering on the drum set a little bit in those loud sections. But again, your bass drum's gonna be pretty quiet. Keep that thing quiet at all times. And really try to avoid this groove. A great country groove, perhaps, but not really fitting for jazz. So you want to make sure this is on all four or not at all. Four on the floor or not at all. <laughs> 